Hello everyone, this is your divine appointment once again. So good to be with you as, you, as always. Um, I have something real exciting to share with you today. I'm going to be sharing about a very beautiful healing that one of my, my followers, who's been following me for quite some time now, uh, want to share. And, um, you know, I'm not sure. Her name is Everly. I don't give out last names of, unless they want me to, but normally I don't. So I'm not sure. I think she's from, I'm guessing, I think it was the Philippines. Sorry about that noise. As an airplane that just decided to go overhead. And they're rerouting because we're having a lot of rain. So normally they don't do this, but it's because we've had rain all day today. And I am so happy to be with you, and I want to thank all my new subscribers. I want to thank every one of you. Obviously, you're connecting with me because you are hungry for more of God. And that is what's so important about these beautiful divine moments and divine appointments that I share, always to fill you and help you and encourage you to walk that deeper life with the Lord, not just not just in the middle, but to walk that deeper walk with Him and to encourage you to get closer and closer to the Lord every day because you know what? He is so good. He's such a wonderful, beautiful God. Jesus died for our sins. Oh my goodness. And He took everything upon Himself. And by His stripes, we are healed. And I'm going to be sharing about that today. Somebody has just sent me a beautiful email, and I want to share it. And I'm always encouraging you all <clears throat> to send your emails. Anybody who's received a beautiful healing, um, I will share it on air because I really believe it's important that we are encouraged one another in the faith. Very important. I've shared my testimony of my healing. I've been healed of Bell's Poly, where I was frozen on one whole side of my face, left side of my face. I was only, um, that was the first time I've ever experienced, um, actually that was my first healing <clears throat> from the Lord. I've see, received others since then. Um, but it, it was just an amazing time in my life. and. Um, I want to share Everly's today, and I want to uh, read her testimony, okay? So I'm going to start right now, so get ready to be, um, you know, just to worship. And thank God for this beautiful testimony to encourage you and everyone else. And again, as I said before, thank you for all you new subscribers. Thank you for all of you that are, are just new uh, following this ministry. Um, I try to be a part of just divine appointments things that God does that is very unusual and beautiful um, that maybe you want to hear in a lot of places. I really believe it's important because I never knew about these things when I began my walk with the Lord. And um, people seem to be very quiet in the, my beginnings of the Lord uh, in the church I was in. No one ever shared anything like this. Um, and I just didn't understand. I didn't know that God could do all these things. And I was blinded because of the um, background that I was uh, from and when I was born again and I was spirit filled my life totally changed So that's what I always share as being spirit, uh, born again and spirit filled being filled with the Spirit of God I love you all today. I hope you enjoy this. All right. I'm gonna read this right from her testimony four years ago I was a new Christian and I <clears throat> I didn't know much about the Bible or about the baptism of the Holy Spirit or about praying in the Spirit Okay, so she goes on to say, one day around uh, five o'clock in the morning, I was praying and suddenly <clears throat> I heard a voice whisper uh, these words, daughter, your faith has made you well. Honestly, I didn't know what it was, but in my mind, it was God who had said those words. And I know, <clears throat> excuse me, I know that those words are in the Bible, but I didn't know where to find them. So I asked later um, a lady pastor um, what it meant, and she thought it was because I had sinned somewhere in my life and God was forgiving me. <coughs> Excuse me. And, and she really missed that. And that makes me feel bad that that happened for her. Um, we must never presume things. Um, a year later, after and 216, I was diagnosed with uh, an 11 centimeter uterine fibroid but I was doing fine 
I didn't feel anything abnormal. Surgery was just uh, the doctor's suggestion, but I stood strongly and declined. A year later, um, this year, 219, I had an ultrasound and the fibroid had grown three centimeters bigger and I wasn't um, well anymore. My monthly um, periods were not usual anymore. I was bleeding profusely and I got scared. I called to Jesus for he, um, for he, I called to Jesus. <clears throat> I knew Jesus would help me and um, and I remember those words immediately when I called upon Jesus. He reminded me of those words that he spoke to me four years ago. And then I started smiling and I realized that Jesus is indeed my only hope. He promised me my healing, okay? Um, before I even discovered I was sick, he was already preparing me. Um, what an amazing God we serve. So what I did last month is I meditated on those words which God whispered to me, every day I recited them out loud. Now mind you, those words were, my daughter, your faith has made you whole. That's why I'm always telling you all to meditate on the words of God, because our words are not powerful. Our words are just fleshly words. They're just us. Even though they might be nice words, the word of God is just powerful and it's a double-edged sword. It goes in the marrow and bone and it goes, and it just cuts. Uh, into all things and it divides um, it divides uh, all those beautiful things in our life and brings forth new life it goes on to say every day I recited them aloud and um, <clears throat> did not take medicine and amazingly when my monthly came last September 20th it was normal and I was healed I am whole again I know the fibroid is still there, but is no longer a cause of worry because I stand in the promises of my God that my faith has made me well. That is the testimony I wanted to share with you. And um, <clears throat> I love it. I love it so much. Um, let me see if I can find that exact scripture that I'm looking for. Um, woman with with issue okay here it is I just want to read this scripture to you um, woman with the issue of blood um, <clears throat> excuse me I just want to real quick pull this up um, goodness thank you Jesus thank you Lord thank you Lord and if you've ever seen the movies uh, Jesus movies and um, they're always sharing that part of the movie, which is always beautiful. Um, <clears throat> and I'm looking for the exact placement for that. Let me see if I can find that. Um, okay, Jesus is on his way to heal a young uh, girl, okay? Um, this is going to be in Mark 5:24 and Luke 9. I'm sorry, Luke 8:42, and it goes on to say the story of a woman with the issue of blood can be found in that area um, that I just quoted. Though neither accounts are very long, Mark's account provides a few more details than Luke's. The story of this woman takes place within a larger story. Jesus is on the way to the synagogue, to a leader's house, to heal the dying daughter. And that's in Mark 5:21, when an unnamed woman causes an interruption to his progress. And this was, <clears throat> this is what I'm speaking about right now, is that particular area. Uh, what we know about the woman is first she had a bleeding condition, okay, and the issue that continued for 12 years. Uh, that's a very long time, very long time. Second, she spent her money and her, for treatments and doctors and nothing helped. Uh, in fact, the bloody issue, uh, the bloody, the blood issue had only grown worse and worse. All right. It goes on in Mark 5, 25 and says, we also know that the Jewish law declared her to be ceremonially unclean due to her bleeding. Okay. And that's in Leviticus 15. But it goes on to say <clears throat> that um, when she heard about Jesus, 
She came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak because she thought, if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. And that's Mark 5, 27. And it goes on to say, as soon as a woman touches Jesus, her bleeding stops and she knows she's been healed in an instant. Well, this is what we're talking about today, and I needed to share this with you because I really believe that Everly has really um, touched my heart with it, and she wanted to share this because um, she wants you all to realize that God is a healing God, and I also confirm the healings that I've had in my life, and I don't want you to give up. I want you to continually stand on the Word of God, and especially if you need healing, to meditate on healing scriptures because the healing scriptures are what is going to bring your healing in your life. And that's the main, the most important part, is to meditate on those healing scriptures until you realize that these scriptures are, are real and they are effective. And the more you meditate on them, uh, the more real they become in your heart and your life. You know, if you only pick up a scripture once in a while and say to yourself, oh, I, 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 um, I'm going to say this scripture and I'm going to believe it and that's over. No, you, you live that scripture in your life. You live it in your life morning, noon, and night until God, Jesus is so real to you that there's no question that he will not heal you. There's no question. He will heal you. He is not a man that he would lie. That's what the Word of God says. He is a healing God. He is a beautiful healing Jesus. Um, uh, Jehovah Jireh is our provider and Jehovah Rapha is our healer. And those are just different names for the Lord, our God. And I want to share this beautiful testimony and I want to hear from you all. If you have a testimony, go ahead and email me. My email is D-I-V-I-N-E-A-P-P-T at cfl.rr.com. And go ahead and uh, give me your testimony. I'd be glad to share it. And you want to know something? We should be doing this. This is what we should be doing is sharing all these beautiful things that God is doing in your life. If you do not want to share it where you know it's going to be um, mentioned on air to other people, well then you don't do it. But if you would like to share in, by faith the beautiful thing God has done in your life, please email me and I'll be glad to share it. Because you know what? This is what builds our faith. These stories and these sharing times of what God is doing. I love you, and I hope and I pray that you are being touched by this ministry, and I pray that you spread the good news of Jesus Christ, and you put this on your social media. <clears throat> Don't you know that people, excuse me, need the Lord? They need the Lord, and they need to know of His beauty and His glory and how it rests upon our life as we rest and we read His Word, His beautiful scriptures. We meditate on them daily and that's how I received my healings as well until I could really believe and trust that God that Jesus had paid the price and he did it this is how healing comes this is how it this is how it works and as I said before there's so much doubt and unbelief in this world today even among so many Christians we certainly need to share what God is doing so that we can build up one another in this holy faith I love you and I pray that you are touched by this ministry and as I said, spread the good news of Jesus Christ. And if you have something to share in the way of a beautiful testimony, please let me know and send it right along. I do counseling. I always mention this. Um, one hour of anointed supernatural counseling. God always moves in mighty ways. Very anointed. And uh, all I can say is that we need to hear from God. And uh, we don't need a psychologist. We just need more of Jesus. So connect with me if you need a little help, a little bit of encouragement, someone to pray for you and listen to your situation so we can take it to the Lord and look to Him for the answers. I love you. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your day. And I'll be hearing you'll be hearing back from me in a day or so and with some more beautiful divine appointments. I love you. See you next time.